Hey friends, and welcome to another Small Town Yoga Flow. Alright, today we're going to start seated. We're going to focus a lot on lower back, back pain, kind of hips, shenanigans. So, a little more chill, holding poses a little longer, and not as flowy and fast. So we'll start with, pick a preferred leg. I'm going to start with the left leg in front of the right. We're going to inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, take your right hand down, reach over with the left arm. If it is comfortable, you can drop this right forearm and reach over. Good, inhale, bring it up. Left hand or forearm down, reach over with the right arm. And can you try to pull your chest and face it up a little bit? Maybe bring this arm back. One more time on each side, inhale up. Take that right hand or forearm down, reach over with the left. Inhale up, left hand down, reach over with the right. Good, inhale all the way up, nice straight spine. Exhale, fold it all the way forward, tuck your chin. Inhale, roll yourself all the way up. This left hand will hook the right knee. Right hand will come behind. Nice straight spine. Inhale first. Exhale, twist. Look over that right shoulder and continue to breathe. Good. Inhale back to center. Better wash your machine. And then taking right hand to left knee, left hand behind, nice straight spine, inhale first. Exhale, twist, look over your left shoulder. And inhale back to center. So we're gonna switch, you have your left leg in front, if you picked your left leg. We're gonna switch, put the right in front. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale, fold it down, tuck the chin. Inhale, roll yourself up. This time we're gonna do one of my favorite things. I like to call it a lurch, but it's not a yoga pose. Okay, we're gonna take the right hand down. This left arm is going to come up and over. This is the lurch. We're going to round the spine, kind of drag the fingers together, take it to the other side. And continue. Kind of lurch it. And then open up like a blue flower. Go ahead and just inhale it all the way up and bring your feet together. So hugging the heels in, we're going to interlace the fingers, tuck them underneath the toes, really straighten the spine first, exhale, pull the chest forward. So this may not be as deep as in your mind you think it should be, like just take it where it's at. You kind of hold here, your hips are tight, your back's tight, you're really going to feel this. I like to kind of wiggle, so push the chest up to the left, push the chest up to the right, kind of twist a little bit, and then just fold. And now roll it up. So maybe, I'm going to give a little side view. If your back and hips are pretty tight, you may not be able to shift forward. And this is where the joy of props come in. Get you 5,000 pillows and kind of lay like this. And then do it at night while you're watching TV and then lose a pillow. And then lose a pillow. Until you get to a point where you can really feel that low back stretching out. 
It's a great way to introduce props so that you don't put a lot of pressure on yourself, but also can still feel that stretch, all right? So kind of shift side to side. Feel it in your hips, feel it in your back. And then go ahead and straighten the legs out in front. So kind of wiggle it out. Whenever you get here, a lot of times, um, if people are very tight in their low back, they may be more sitting like this. And all I want you to do is take a blanket that's rolled up, slide it under your knees, and just work from here. Work here. Because eventually, as your hamstrings get more flexible and more mobility, you'll be able to straighten out and still be able to keep a straight spine. So it's more important that you keep your spine straight than it is to have your legs out. So go ahead and inhale, sweep the arms up. Flex these feet. Exhale, reach forward, bringing your chest to your thighs. And if you can reach your feet, grab it. If you can't reach your feet, any form of a strap, you can use a belt, you can use a scarf, hook your feet and pull yourself down. And when you get here, you can go ahead and tuck that chin. And remember to breathe. And inhale, roll yourself up. Bringing your hands behind you, we're going to plant the feet flat, take your right ankle, cross it over the left knee, and push this right knee away. Keep this right foot nice and flexed, push the right knee away from you, and just kind of rock side to side. So drop over to the left a little bit, drop over to the right a little bit. We're just gonna stretch into your sciatic. If you have sciatic pain, you're gonna stretch it. Go ahead and rock back to center, dropping your right foot down. Take the left ankle over the right knee. Left foot stays nice and flexed. Left knee pushes away again, kind of rock it side to side. Go ahead and drop your feet down, heel toe them out wide. Drop the knees in. You can go one in at a time if that's more comfortable. Or you can do both in at the same time. Internal rotation. And then heel toe it back together. Feet come together. And then inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, reach, 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 and fold forward. Inhale, sweep those arms up, bring them behind you. Again, we're going to plant the feet, this time about mat distance apart. And then dropping both knees to the left, you can look to the right. Inhale it up, drop both knees to the right, look to the left. Do this a couple of times, dropping and looking. Inhaling up, exhale as you draw. And then bringing your legs up, we're gonna actually heel toe the feet together and do the same thing. So sometimes you hear these as mermaid dips. I like to call them windshield wipers because obviously maybe I'm just not as dainty. So if you want a mermaid dip, drop the knees to the right, look to the left. You want a windshield wipe. Inhale those legs up, drop them to the left, look to the right. And continue. And then inhale it up. Go ahead and take your left leg out nice and long. And this right foot is going to hug into your left inner thigh. Inhale both arms up. Pull, pull, pull. Exhale, fold over that left leg. Keep the left foot nice and flexed. You can tuck your chin. Inhale. 
Inhale, roll yourself up. This left hand is going to hook your right knee. The right arm is going to come up into the air, and you're going to reach over as if to grab your left toes. So you may not reach them, and that's absolutely fine, but you want to feel this side body stretch. So just really feel the stretch, low back, side body. As you inhale up, we're going to just complete this with a twist. So take your right hand behind you. Inhale first. Exhale, twist. And then inhale back to center. Little washing machine. Baby washing machine. All right. Right leg out. Left foot into the inner thigh. Inhale. Sweep the arms up. Pull, pull, pull up. Exhale. Fold over the right leg. Tuck the chin. Inhaling up here. We're going to take your right hand, hook this left knee. This left arm comes up and reaches over as if to grab your right toes. And just hold. Inhale it up. And to finish off the twist, so take this left hand behind you, inhale first, exhale twist, look over that left shoulder. And then inhale back to center, little baby. All right, so however it's comfortable, we're gonna come on to hands and knees. You can just cross your ankles and rock forward or however it's easier for you to get here. We're going to put knees right underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. And as you inhale, drop the belly and the chest, raise the gaze. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin, press away from the mat, and continue. Inhale. And exhale. And continue. Good. Inhale back to center. You can go ahead and come back to your tabletop. We're going to part the knees, bring the big toes together, and push all the way back for child. Bringing your forehead down to the mat and just relaxing. Push yourself up, bring the knees together. We're going to flip the toes and push back for downward facing dog. So again, you can walk your dog. If it hurts to straighten the legs, just bend into the knees. It's going to stretch out your spine. And however it's comfortable walking feet to hands or hands to feet, you should wind up here in a forward fold. Make sure that your weight is balanced across the feet. Grab onto opposing elbows and hang. So again, if this hurts, if this is too tight, bend in and just hang. And actually, if you're comfortable doing straight legs as well, go between them. Bend into the knees a little bit and then straighten the knees. And just kind of Stretch out, you can move side to side. And then from here, just planting your hands. We're going to step it back to downward facing dog, push all the way back. And 
me go ahead and lower the knees down. So with the knees down, we're going to turn the right foot out and plant it down. And I actually want you to keep your toes flipped on this left foot as you push back. So push back a little bit. Inhale it up. Push back a little bit. Inhale it up. And then inhaling back up to your tabletop, we're going to turn this right knee in. And however it is comfortable for you, we're going to step the right foot forward. So if that means coming here first and then stepping the right foot forward, you can do that. If you want to stay here, you can just swing that right foot up. But either way, you're going to walk it forward, coming into a lunge. So again, knee ankle aligned. If it's not, walk that foot forward. And then rock back, flex the right foot, fold over the right leg. Rock it forward. Rock it back. If it's comfortable, rock it forward, plant the left hand, maybe the right hand sneaks back and grab that left foot. If not, you can be here. And we're gonna allow this right knee to rock open, bringing both hands on the inside here. So right here, if this is a stretch, if you feel this and you do not want to go any further, stay. If you want a little bit more, you can drop down to your forearms. Go ahead and press yourself up. And if it is in your practice, you can either stay here, but if it is in your practice, we're going to heel toe the right foot across. Lower the right knee down, making sure not to sink over here in your right hip. And this is pigeon. I like to fondly refer to it as pigeon. So keeping this right foot nice and flexed. If right here is good, stay. Don't move any further. If you would like to increase it, you can come to your forearms, and if it's if you're even past this point, you can lay all the way out. And really pay attention to what you're feeling. You should feel a stretch in the hips and in the back. If your leg begins to go fall asleep, which does happen, go ahead and remove yourself out of it. You don't have, you don't want that. You don't want numb, numb limbs. So whenever you're ready, press yourself up, flip the toes on this left foot just enough so that you can slide that right leg back, coming onto hands and knees, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, push out to the right side, and push out to the left side. Right side, and left side. And then turning your left foot out, planting it down. We're going to flip the toes on the right foot. Sink back. And then inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale. This time when you inhale up, you can bring that left knee down. And again, however it's comfortable, we're going to step this left foot forward and push it forward. Bring both hands down into your lunge. So lunge it out. Rock back. Flex the left foot. Fold over the left leg. Rock it forward. Rock it back. This time as you rock it forward, plant your right hand. If your left hand wants to swing back, grab your right foot, you can. Again, if this is not in your practice, you can be here. And then releasing that, we're gonna allow the left knee to rock open. Bring both hands on the inside. You can stay right here. 
you want to drop down to your forearms, I like to call them the firms, you can do so. And then pressing up, either staying here if it's in your practice, or if you would like to heel toe that left foot across, keep that left foot nice and flexed. Walk it forward, however low, for your pigeon. And again, feeling it stretch your back, your hips. Go ahead and press yourself up. Flip the toes on the right foot just enough to slide the left knee back. And then however it's comfortable, you can cross the ankles, rock back, and sit back on your bum. So before we go, I, I want to wind down because we're coming up on 20 minutes or we're already past 20 minutes. We're going to take our legs wide. And I want you just to rock it forward just a little bit. Rock it side to side. Just kind of move. If you really feel this in your back, maybe you spend a little extra time with this during the day. You can do the standing. And then bringing your legs together, we're gonna stack right on bottom. This left ankle is gonna sit on your right knee. Again, if you have this space, that's totally cool. It's just a, a hips, just your hips, and we're gonna get there. So kind of lean it forward a little bit. You can sway side to side. This is a great stretch for low back pain and any kind of hip pain. And then we're gonna switch it. So take the left on bottom, stack the right on top. Right ankle right on that left knee. Push it forward. Rock it side to side. All right. So however you feel comfortable getting into it, we're going to just rock all the way back onto our backs. And then dropping both knees over to the right, we're going to look to the left. And then inhaling the knees up, drop them to the left, look to the right. Inhale it up. Reach up, grab onto the outsides of the feet, your ankles. You can grab onto your knees, your big toes. We're going to pull the knees up towards the armpits or side to side for happy baby. If you didn't see Stephanie Stewart from Humbling Blue and I made a shirt, you should definitely go buy it the, if you're watching this video in the time frame that the shirts are being launched, and you should grab one to help support two local studios just trying to make it. Take both legs straight up, circle your ankles. Bring your feet flat down to the mat, heel to the feet out wide and drop the knees in. Get that internal rotation. And then heel to the back together. Take both legs straight up into the air. Right ankle over left knee. Bend into the left leg. Go ahead and pull it in. After we do these last two stretches, or last few stretches, I'm going to go ahead and do our little Shavasana. But if you want more stretches, you can always add in more twists and more forward folds for back pain. I highly recommend 
doing as many forward folds in the day as you can. Take both legs up, left ankle over right knee, bend into the right leg. And you can do standing forward folds, you can do seated forward folds, just as long as you're kind of moving, getting everything stretching. Go ahead and release that. So taking this right leg out across the mat, we're going to bring our left knee into our chest, drop the left knee to the right, keep this left shoulder down, look to the left. Left leg out across the mat, bring the right knee into the chest. Go ahead and drop the right knee to the left as you look to the right. Keep this right shoulder down. And inhale it up. And just take your legs out across your mat and you roll the palms open. And really focus on your breathing. Inhale, feel the belly rise, the chest rise. And then exhale, feel the belly contract and the chest sink. And just continue. Deep. Thank you for joining me today. I hope maybe your back feels a little better. We're just going to take a moment to be thankful for your body that does so much for you. Deep breath in. And smile. Namaste.